I plan on doing several tutorials for the MuseScore 3 software, how to arrange and compose music. This particular tutorial isn't about arranging and composing music. It's basically just a tutorial to show that the MuseScore software can make use of the external sound modules from Roland, Yamaha, and Korg. In order to do that, you'd go to the menu bar, select Edit, go down to Preferences. For the I.O., you want to make sure that you have the Microsoft Sound Mapper selected, and then you want to make sure that you have the USB MIDI interface selected. As you can imagine, the old sound modules from Korg, Yamaha, and Roland did not have USB ports on them back in 1993 and 1995 because USB wasn't even on the market at that point in time. That's why you're going to have to get a USB to MIDI interface. I have two different USB to MIDI adapters on the screen right now. The white product would require you to buy the MIDI cables. The black one would not. I'll try to provide a link to the black product in the description box. You can usually pick them up for around $10. Both of those products would work just fine. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already got stuff set up exactly how I want it. I want to let people know I just placed notes on the staff. This isn't an actual composition or music arrangement. If it sounds decent, it's just by chance. I didn't put any time or effort into it. It should work okay for the purpose of this demonstration though. I'm going to go back to the beginning and hit play. You should see the three instruments on the MU-50. You should have seen the instruments playing on the MU-50. I'm going to go back to the beginning and hit play again. You should have seen that when I hit mute and solo, it did make the alterations on the sound module. It works 100% the way it's supposed to. I want to let people know that you can change the instrument really easy. If you notice, we have grand piano right here. This is, you know, the first part. That's grand piano. And then where it says warm synth, right here is where it goes to the part. There we have soft pad, which is warm synth. This one here is the square lead, which is the square synthesizer. If I go back to where the grand piano is, if I right click and I go into staff properties, we can change the instrument easy enough. I'll go to where it says keyboards and I'm going to select an organ because you should notice a big difference in sound. So hit OK, apply, OK. It went to church organ. Now if I go back to the beginning, You should have noticed a huge difference from when it was piano to organ. It's that easy to change out the instrument. Like I said, if I hit the part and I go where right now where square lead is, which is number, which is right here, it's basically the third instrument. Once again, I'll right click, I'll go to staff properties where it says change instrument. You can come down here where it says, where it lists all these like electronic music, concert, orchestra, but let me get out of out of that. I'm just going to go with one of the typical ones. I'll go string. I'll go banjo. I'll hit apply. Or okay, hit apply. And now it changed it to banjo and it switched to banjo on here as well. It'll probably sound a lot different. It'll probably sound horrible. <laughs> I think everyone could tell that it did go to a banjo sound. That's all there is to changing the instruments and making use of an external sound module when using MuseScore 3.